Welcome back, students. We are going to be finishing up our color wheel today. Um, and when we do this, we are going to be mixing our paint colors. Remember, I'm going to give you the primary colors, um, your yellow, your red, and your blue paint, and you have to make the secondary and the tertiary colors. So I'm going to show you today um, how I would like you to do this so that we don't waste very much paint um, and so that um, there's less cleanup at the end. So each of you is going to get a plain paper plate. And then you're also going to get um, these like reusable spoons, and we're going to we're going to clean these up and use them again. You're going to have one spoon for each primary color, and you're just going to dip a little bit of paint from the container onto your paper plate. And then when you're done with the spoon, tap off any excess back into the paint container, and then set the spoon on the lid um, so that it doesn't. You know, if I leave it sitting in here, it's going to have a whole bunch of paint on there that we're going to have to throw away at the end. I also need blue today because I'm making my violets, uh, my violet and then my red violet and blue violet. And on the plate, I like to put them about where they're at on the color wheel. So you can see I put my red down here and I'm going to put my blue over here. And when I'm done, I'm going to tap off any excess back into the container and then set the blue right there. Um, remember when we're mixing paints, we always start with the lightest color. And I find that most um, students have the hardest time telling between red and blue which is lighter. They know that yellow is lighter with red, and they know that yellow is lighter with blue, but when you get to red and blue, you're like, which one's lighter? So red is actually lighter. You're gonna take a little bit of red and put it right in the middle. And then this paintbrush I used for red, so now I'm gonna use a different paintbrush for my blue. And with this, I'm gonna start with the ever little smallest amount of blue. And when I mix them, I'm going to decide if I got too much red, too much blue, or if it looks like it's a good violet. Now, I barely put any blue in there, and this is looking like a pretty good violet. So if I think it's good, I can put it... I can put it right in the middle of violet. If it looks like it's too red, I could put it over here in the red violet, and if it looks like it's too blue, which is usually what happens to students, then you put it right here. So I'm going to carefully paint in my square. And try not to go out of the lines. If you do, it's not the biggest deal. It's not the end of the world, but we do want to be careful. And do our best painting that we can. And then when you've got that one done, you can go back, and if I add red to the color that I just made, it should be, and I can use my, my violet paintbrush, it should be more of the red violet. And usually the red violet is the hardest one for students to make. Now I'm not sure how different that is from that one. If I get it on here and I go, oh, that's not that different, well then, while it's still wet, I can mix a little color into it. It is hard to paint when your brush is full of paint like mine is right now, so just be careful. Do your best. And then the blue violet will be really easy because I just need to take a little bit of blue. Or I could even use a lot of bit of blue just so that it's not blue. It's going to be that dark indigo kind of color. And that's going to go right here. Okay? Paint that in carefully. When all of your colors are painted, then you are done for today. Um, make sure at the end of the day the lids go back on your paints. Um, the spoons need to all get washed and come back to me. And the brushes also need to get washed out with soap and water really good. They should be running clear, only clear water coming out of them. And then set your painting on the drying rack to dry. And we're also going to wipe down the tables at the end of the day so that paint doesn't get on the next student's artwork.